few details in that massive manhunt for a cop killer in the mountains of Pennsylvania. A sighting last night has police thinking they're closing in on Eric Freen. They also think the survivalist is running out of food and supplies. ABC's Lindsay Janice is on the scene with the latest. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. Hundreds of officers racing to the location of that possible sighting by a member of one of the search teams. It wasn't far from Eric Freen's own home. Police say they are convinced they're wearing him down. This morning, newly obtained details about the night Freen allegedly ambushed two state troopers. According to a police search warrant, Freen texted his best friend Justin Smith, a fellow war reenactor, just hours before the attack, writing, stayed at your place last night. All is good. Heading back to Delaware. My name is Eric Freen. Instead, police say Freen headed to the Blooming Grove barracks just a few miles away, killing one state trooper and injuring another. That was 23 days ago. Authorities say he's been hiding out in the dense woods of Pennsylvania's Pocono Mountains ever since. The surrounding communities living in fear. He needs to eat, he needs to sleep as the rain and things come in. He's going to need that shelter. This morning, law enforcement hoping the colder weather and Freen's dwindling food supplies will force him to surface. He's living off of food that he carried with him or cached in, uh, in certain areas. And, uh, and again, I believe uh, that food is running out and that we've seized a significant amount of that. Police say Freen is going to have to steal supplies in order to survive. They expect he'll try to break into one of the many vacant homes and cabins in this area. Another thing giving police hope this morning, this colder weather, the leaves are coming off the trees. That means those thermal cameras on the search helicopters become much, much more effective. Amy? All right, Lindsay Janice, thanks so much.